hello students i welcome you all to engineers academy do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem it says that a ballistic pendulum consists of 4 kg wooden block originally at rest when theta equals to 0 when a 2 gram bullet strikes and becomes embedded in it it is observed that the block swings upward to a maximum angle of 6 degrees estimate the initial speed of the bullet so we have to find the initial speed of the bullet and let's say that uh, the initial uh, let's say that when the bullet is in the air so that is our state one and then when it uh, embed with the block so then this is the when the block is uh, at theta equals to zero so along the bullet that is state two and then when it it covers a dis an angle of six six degrees so then the bullet plus the wooden block is at state three so from state 2 to state 3 we can say that the energy is conserved right so the initial energy of the bullet plus the wood will be conserved in state 3 right so we can say that the t2 plus the potential energy at state 2 that will be equal to the kinetic energy at state 3 plus the potential energy at state 3 so for the potential energy we are going to consider the datum line so let's say that this is uh, my datum line somewhere here let's see and the let's assume that the center of mass of the wood uh, lies on this datum line right and the bullet lies on this datum line as well so the initial energy at state 2 of both the block and the bullet will be equal to 1 divided by 2 that is the mass of the bullet plus the mass of the wooden block into the uh, velocity that is the common velocity and let's say that common velocity is v b 2 square and initially the center of mass of the at state 2 the center of mass of the block and the bullet they are on the datum line so the potential energy would be equal to zero and similarly at state 3 we can say that uh, at state 3 after covering an angle of 6 degrees uh, both the bullet and the wooden block will come to rest so the kinetic energy at state 3 will be equal to 0 so we can write that T3 is equal to 0 and plus the potential energy so the potential energy from the datum line is always equal to mgh now uh, from state 2 to state 3 both the bullet and the wooden block are moving together so their uh, potential energy will be equal to the combined mass times the g value times the h the vertical distance traveled from the datum line now the vertical distance traveled from the datum line will be let's say this distance from this datum line this is that h and this h will remain the same for the bullet and for the wooden block so uh, so we can say that if, if let's say if, uh, if this is the initial position of the edge of the wooden block and this is the final position of the edge of the wooden block so then this height will also be equal to that small h now we can find the small h we are given that this length of the rope is 1.25 and then if we drop a perpendicular if we drop a perpendicular from here to here then this small length this small length is the cos component of that 1.25 so from here to here this is 1.25 this is 1.25 and then the cost component will be uh, h lesser than that 1.25 right so we can say that this is from here to here this is the cost component right if we consider that triangle then we can say that this is this is that cost component so then we can say that 1.25 cos of that 6 degrees plus h that will be equal to the 1.25 and now from this we can say that h is equal to 1.25 minus 1.25 cos of 6 degrees now if we look into both sides of this equation so we can simplify then we will be left with this and if we divide both sides of equation by this by the mass of the bullet plus the mass of the wood so we are left with 1 divided by 2 vb the combined velocity of the bullet and the block at state 2 squared that will be equal to g times h and now we can say that g is g is 9.81 and we know that h which is 1.25 this is that h 
1.25 minus 1.25 cos of 6 degrees and if I multiply both sides by 2 so we will have the equation like this and then if we take the square root then we will be able to find that common velocity at state 2 of the bullet and the block so then this velocity comes out to be this is VB2 and this velocity comes out to be 0 0.3665 meter per second now in the problem statement we are asked to find the initial velocity of the bullet right so from state 1 to state 2 the momentum is conserved right so we can apply the law of conservation of momentum so now I will apply the law of conservation of momentum so the law of conservation of momentum says that the summation of the initial momentum equals to the summation of the final momentum now now the initial momentum will be the momentum of the bullet only right since as state one it is not embedded into the wooden block so we can say that this is uh, mass of the bullet is let me write that the mass of the bullet is two grams and now if we convert it into kgs then one kg equals to thousand grams so this will give us 0 0.002 kgs now we can say that the mass of the bullet this is 0 0.02 into the initial velocity of the bullet let's say that is v1 this is equal to the final momentum and now the final momentum will be the mass of the bullet plus the mass of the wooden block so the mass of the bullet is 0 0.02 plus the mass of the wooden block is 4 times the velocity at state 2 now the velocity at state 2 is that vb2 that common velocity so we will multiply it with 0 0.3665 so now we want to find that initial velocity we have to divide both sides of the equation by 0 0.002 so we are left with the initial velocity of the bullet and this gives us the initial velocity of the bullet equals to 733 meter per second so now the bullet initially was moving with very high velocity that is 733 meter per second and at state 2 when it just embeds into the wood so the velocity of the bullet and the and the wood uh, decreases to uh, 0 0.3665 right and so we were asked to find the initial velocity of the bullet which is 733 meter per second so this is that initial velocity of the bullet which is 733 meter per second so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel if it helps you